Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how you can save your old wonderful printer from the rubbish container. On the screen you can see an Epson Stylus Photo 750 which I bought in 1998 which is still working in uh, Windows 10 using the original Epson drivers through a virtual machine. If you are here watching this video, it's because probably you start having problem with your printer driver. Or maybe because uh, you started using a generic one, but later you realize that it is not really the same. In my case, I could use my printer through a generic driver on Windows 10. But one day, maybe after I update my system um, my printer start getting crazy every time that I started to print something I got only random letters and numbers so that I thought that uh, uh, finally my printer was broken but it wasn't the case later I could uh, print uh, with uh, an old Mac that I have and prove that uh, my printer was still working. So the problem came from uh, the generic driver definitely and uh, what I'm going to suggest to you is not to use uh, a second computer every time you want to print but to build a virtual machine in your main system which is very easy you can do it and it's very fast because uh, time means money sure that makes sense uh, only when you already have your cartridge or uh, when you are still able to buy some of those in my case I could uh, get some of them for very few quid to build a virtual machine using the virtual box it was uh, much easier than I thought here you can see my Windows 2000 configuration it requires very little resources. Welcome back. As you can see, this is my Windows 2000 virtual machine, which is working pretty good. Before to start, I want to be clear. This is not just a guide to show you how to install it step by step. No, this is just uh, a set of brief suggestions to help you how to configure it. If you need to install it, you have to download the VirtualBox software from uh, the Oracle website. And during installation, you also need the Windows ISO file with the serial number, of course. So, after you have uh, uh, built your Windows 2000 virtual machine you need to create a sharing folder to do that you need to go inside uh, your virtual box uh, manager and uh, from settings select uh, the sharing folder and uh, from the button on the right you can uh, add uh, how many sharing folder you need. In my case I already have one. Here uh, auto mode is uh, selected so every time that uh, I boot uh, my sharing folder is always ready.
but that's not enough to share your files you also need to go inside your uh, virtual machine and uh, from the top menu uh, devices uh, select insert guest additions cd that's very important well i'm not sure that a step uh, was enough i think you should go in my computer where it should uh, appear uh, virtual cd where you can install the guest addition um, software that you need to share your folders after that you should have uh, an icon in uh, my computer um, which is the the share folder another thing that uh, I need to tell you is to be careful when you try to install your software from the sharing folder sometimes you can get some trouble this is my Epson driver as you can see it's not working this is uh, the status monitor I don't know why it doesn't work but don't worry you just need to copy it into your uh, virtual machine desktop and after that it should work this is the Epson driver and this is the status monitor which I have already installed of course fine another thing that uh, I want to add is that uh, you need to update your uh, Windows 2000 so you should uh, download the service pack 3 or the service pack 4 and then you also need to update your Internet Explorer by default you should have uh, Internet Explorer 5 but uh, that's not enough to install most of the software you can you can see on my desktop you need Internet Explorer 6 and uh, you can't install Internet Explorer 7 as you can see um, I have uh, Adobe Reader 9.5 is working very well and uh, without Internet Explorer 6 and the service pack I could use only Adobe Reader 5 maybe 6 then there are other software you might want is WinZip uh, uh, 8 7 zip uh, 2018 Mozilla Firefox 12 ACDC 10 uh, photo manager is very good for printing and to edit photos very simple very fast very good and uh, if you want to print document I suggest you to avoid LibreOffice because it doesn't work even you you can install it. I got this. No way to fix it. Forget. But if you go in uh, archive.org you can find the Microsoft Office 2000 with a serial number. Everything is for free and legal well shut up uh, stupid clip 
about you are. In the retirement trend, I realized only later how OBS wasn't capable to grab any pop-up menu from uh, the virtual box machine. This issue happens when uh, using OBS in window capture mode. So now that I know, I switch to the display capture mode. So let's go to finish in beauty this video. Let's go to print something. So here on the left we have uh, my printer and uh, on the right we have my VirtualBox machine. Here we have uh, um, a Word document ready to print but before that we are going to check if our driver has been installed. So start settings printers yes the smart driver Epson still is 4750 but uh, the printer is not connected so I need to go below on the uh, USB icon of the virtual box and right button to select uh, smart printer as you can see now my printer is ready to print but I would like to check uh, my cartridge so right button on it and then uh, Printing preference, utility, option status monitor. Okay. Yeah. There's some uh, ink. Let's try to to check. Uh, How is it? All right. The black is fine. First color. Mm almost and the other yeah it's fine beautiful brilliant so now we are going to print a word document As you can see, it's perfect. So my tutorial ends here. Thanks for watching. Have you a nice day and goodbye. Hasta luego.